Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be showing you a um, a cool little wheelie build I did with the Volkswagen Carmen Ghia that you get when you uh, do this seasonal event for the spring season right here. Yeah. Um, so I figured I'd do a drag build. It's a... I figured why not because it's a rear engine, rear engine, rear wheel drive vehicle and most of the times whenever I do the Volkswagen drag builds, when I've done them in the past, they go pretty well. Um, you can do wheelies really easily, which is the same case for this, which it's really easy. This is a really good wheelie slash drag build and I'll show you right here. Uh, I'm in manual with clutch, so you hold down the clutch, hold down the throttle, release the clutch. And it does the same thing that the R5, 9, does with this same setup. It just goes like this, and it spins, it spins, it spins, it spins. It's really cool. But also, I think, um, if you do it with I believe it just does like a, a normal drag run without the wheelie. So just hold throttle right off the line. Now I'll show you this tune right here. Um, what I did as far as customization. festival and I'll show you all the upgrades that I did to do this and I'll share this tune as well if y'all want to check it out but uh, let's see as far as the engine swap goes I did the the four liter flat six engine kept it rear wheel drive and I did the twin turbo setup I just removed all the I just removed the bumpers for uh aero and appearance. For this I just put on some B lock drag wheels, drag tires and widened the rear top rear tires and also uh maxed out the track width. Um I'm I maxed out all the upgrades in drivetrain, same as engine, but when you come to here I did uh race brakes Rally, springs, and dampers. Max these two out. I didn't do a roll cage because it actually decreases um, acceleration and launch, but I did do the weight reduction. So that's it for upgrades, and I'll show you tuning. This is the tuning. I'm just going to skim through this so y'all can see. In case you're wondering, with the braking force, um, if you put the braking force uh, zero all the way to the right and hold gas and brake at the same time, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, it does a burnout, but it's only on certain vehicles. It doesn't really work that well on this. Uh, what I find interesting in the zero to sixty time, it says four seconds zero to sixty and ten seconds zero to hundred in a and a failed top speed so yeah it's pretty interesting and I'll show you the the burnout thing so yeah if you put the slider all the way to the right on force um, you hold gas and brake at the same time this is a wheeling belt so it doesn't really work but say I put it in reverse do the same thing. It does a burnout, but it moves around a lot. And if you guys want, I'll do uh, a video on how to do a burnout. I don't know if it works best for me. It's burned out so much. Other cars, it'll just stay in place. Thanks for watching this Volkswagen Carmen Gian build. 
and I'll see you all in